Hey guys, for today's video, I have the new highlighter from the Marc Jacobs Runway Collection. The long name is the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. It's limited edition and it's inspired by the Marc Jacobs 2019 fashion show. The shade is 80, worth the wait, with a little exclamation point thrown in there. And it's described as a shimmering vanilla sugar. It's 59 Canadian or 49 US dollars and you get 0.35 ounces or 10 grams of product. I think I said this in the last Marc Jacobs highlighter video that I did, but the bronzer, like the Omega bronzer, you get 25 grams, but in the highlighter you get 10 grams. But looking face on, they look exactly the same. So just keep that in mind, you're not actually getting as much product, you're getting less than half the amount. I was just looking on Sephora, and right now this is actually sold out on Sephora Canada, but it is in stock on the US site, and you can also get it at markjacobsbeauty.com. So it's supposed to be a reflective and foiled shade, I'm wearing it right now. I'll show you like my application process. When I was swatching it with just my fingers, it felt a little crumbly if I pressed too hard. So just be careful with that. And it does feel and look slightly powdery just when it's swatched. I don't really know if it's like there's too much product there or something. It doesn't shine that well when it's all built up like that. I don't know, but swatching it is not the best indicator of how this highlighter actually performs, in my opinion. To apply it, I use this brush from Tarte. I use this with all of my highlighters, pretty much. And I have some footage of when I was applying it, and when you put the brush into the pan, it feels really thick. It reminds me of the uh, the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighters. Those kind of, they feel a little bit thicker when you're like putting your brush in. but there's still powder going everywhere. Like it's quite messy. I just kind of went for it and it was like powder everywhere, which is fine. It was, it's one that actually does look really wet and creamy on your skin and not dry and powdery. Even though the swatches are deceiving, like it's just beautiful. Not gonna lie, I kind of went crazy with the highlighter. I put on like way too much, but that's fine. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I really wanted to just test it out and see what it looked like. And it's pretty much seamless on my skin. Like there's no harsh line of highlighter. Um, it just looks really wet and like a healthy glow, not a dry, dusty glow. I am, I really love it. I think the shade is one that's actually pretty flattering for my skin tone as well. I'm pretty fair and cool toned and I think it looks pretty flattering. I also swatched it with a brush on the back of my hand to see how that looked. Yeah, overall, I'm really pleased with this highlighter. Um, it looks it looks kind of boring in the pan, and when you swatch it, it looks kind of dusty and boring too. But just trust me, it's beautiful. It seems like it would be really dusty and powdery from how it feels when you touch it in the pan to how it looks when you swatch it to the dust flying everywhere when you put your brush in. Not gonna lie, I was a little uh, worried with what I was getting, but it's really pretty. Like once you just get it on your skin with a brush, good to go. But yeah, I don't have much else to say. Um, can only say so much. I mean, you see how it works. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Let me know if you've tried this, what your thoughts are, if you'll be picking it up. If you picked it up during the sale that was going on recently, let me know. That's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.